to be unable to admire Martin Luther's writings, to stand in front of the sculpture by Kiese Kollwitz in Berlin, or at Goethe's desk in Weimar. It evokes a sense of loss that I can hardly imagine. To you here in Nigeria, however, this loss has been your reality for your whole life. Today, we are here to return the Benin bronzes to where they belong, to the people of Nigeria. We are here to right a wrong. Officials from my country once bought the bronzes knowing that they had been robbed and stolen. After that, we ignored that Nigeria's plea to return them for a very long time. It was wrong to take them, but it was also wrong to keep them. This is a story of European colonialism. It is a story in which our country played a dark role, causing tremendous suffering in different parts of Africa. The return of the Bronxes today is therefore a crucial step towards addressing this chapter in the way that it should be addressed. Openly, frankly, with a willingness to critically assess one's own activities. And crucially, by listening closely to the concerns of those who were the victims of colonial cruelties. It is the readiness to talk and to listen that made today's returns possible. And I'm very grateful to everyone involved. This is especially true for the museum directors here in the second uh, row and the experts from both sides. And Minister, I cannot agree more to what you have said. This is not the moment for ministers or politicians because we are here for the ceremony, for signing the agreement. But this is a This moment beckoned and Germany seized it. Forever, Nigeria, Africa, and indeed all of humanity will remember and always cherish the period in human history when Germany stood by us. When Germany mooted and announced the idea of returning Nigerian Bini bronzes, the entire globe treated the news with disbelief. However, Germany did not stop at a mere announcement, but followed up with a visit to Nigeria by high-ranking officials in March 2021 to further assure us. Because of what Germany has done, negotiations with other nations, institutions and museums for repatriation of the Benin bronzes in their possession became swifter. Subsequent meetings by Nigeria with Germany were on modalities and the Germans were gracious throughout. Finally, on the 1st of July 2022, with the eyes of the whole world glued to their television screens, Germany signed, signed the declaration with Nigeria to release 1,130 Benin bronzes in German public museums. Prior to the various events narrated about, and at a World Press Conference in Lagos, the 28th of November 2019, launched the national campaign for the restitution return of Nigeria's antiquities from all parts of the world. 20 years ago, even 10 years ago, nobody could have anticipated these bronzes returning to Nigeria because the obstacles to achieve repatriation was seemingly insurmountable. But today, with the pioneering gesture of a friendly nation, Germany, 
the story has changed. The negotiations were not as easy as things look today.